Have you ever loved a book series so much that you wish they would create a TV series? Well, you're not alone. The Wheel of Time book fans were delighted to learn that Amazon would make the books a TV series. Join us as we explore how fans are majorly disappointed with the Wheel of Time. Here's why. We will dive into the intended image for the book series adaptation and where it fell short for fans' expectations worldwide. Do you prefer to read books or to watch TV series? Why do fans love the Wheel of Time? The Wheel of Time is a classic. It is well-loved and is an inspiration for many fantasy authors and creators. It is one of the best-selling book series of all time. As of 2021, the series has sold over 90 million copies worldwide, making it one of the best-selling epic fantasy series since The Lord of the Rings. Its popularity has spawned an eponymous video game, role-playing game, and soundtrack albums. The creative and unique storylines entrance its fans, and even though some may argue that the books are far too long and deeply flawed, it is still one of the most loved book series of all time. Therefore, the push to have it turned into a TV series is not a new battle, and it is just one that fans have finally won, or so they thought. Millions of people were excitedly waiting the first season on Amazon, and the first episode was offered to Prime members making it feel like an exclusive book club release. The Wheel of Time is well loved for its length and the complex imaginary world the authors have created. There is a magic system and prominent lovable characters that you quickly grow attachments to. It was even nominated for a Hugo Award. What are some of the differences between the book and the TV series? The Wheel of Time TV series omits the intro and visions of the book series. The opening of the Wheel of Time entirely misses the introduction and the vital backstory of the dragon. Fans speculate that this was done for budgetary issues. It takes away from the intro of the beloved book, missing a massive opportunity opportunity with fans missing out on the rising of the entire mountain scene. So people agree with this choice, however, it is far too complex and would confuse newcomers unfamiliar with the books. Jordan creates no mystery or excitement about the Dragon Reborn. Readers were able to identify with the dragon as the main protagonist and as the viewpoint character giving a unique view into his experiences and disturbing visions that explore the history and his previous life as a dragon. The choice to omit these dreams leaves the TV series feeling more mysterious. Wheel of Time's characters are older than the books. This is one of the most controversial changes. And the books are about teenagers who are out of their depth in a magical world of chaos. The TV series has aged the beloved teenage characters to avoid making it seem like a young adult series, but this has caused significant changes to some of the most beloved characters. Rand and Egwene's awkward start is left out of the TV series, and they are already an intimate couple. Is the one power different than in the books? In the book series, channelers weave strands of one power to create a unique visual effect. Five specific threads can be interwoven, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. The female channelers work with lighter elements, while males weave the more destructive threads such as fire. For some odd reason, the TV series has incorporated the threads into the show. Still, instead of being distinctive colors, they are solid white, taking away from the artistic beauty of the spells from the books and making them more mundane and boring. Fans believe that this wasn't a budget concern that they thought the colors might distract from the importance of the scenes and wanted to show unity when it comes to using the one power and strongly suggest that the power of Aes Sedai is white magic. Do you think taking such a risk on such a popular TV show helped contribute to its unlikability? Do you believe that the colors would have been distracting, taking away from the importance of the scenes. Sometimes taking the central integrity of a well-beloved book series and changing fundamental parts can actually harm to the success of that show adaptation. Why change something that doesn't need to be changed? What does Rafe Judkins think about fans hating his version of the series? In a recent exclusive interview, Rafe admitted that he was well aware that fans of the book series will hate parts of the TV series. He says that, as with any adaptation, there will always be unhappy people with no matter what you do, and that you can't possibly make everyone happy. He went into this with realistic expectations, and it's the nature of doing this project. He said, So you know, I constantly live crushed under the burden of the pressure of what the fans will think about it, but I also have to give us a little release valve of, you know, you've just realized that people will hate things, and people will love things, and that's just the nature of doing something like this. You have to do the best you can to tell the story the way you see. I mean, the truth is, I love the book so much that I got stressed out about the idea of someone other than me doing it. Most would say it's a lose-lose situation, especially when you're as big as a fan as he is. Do you think that fellow fans see the dilemma Rafe has experienced, or that they will forgive him? Now it's time to get into the questions we all have been waiting for. Are you ready to find out if there will be a second season? Will there be a recast of one of the most interesting characters on the TV show? Stick around to find out the future of The Wheel of Time and some of the most shocking news yet. Will there be future seasons of The Wheel of Time? The fans' backlash has caused a significant threat to the future of the TV series. While Amazon hoped that The Wheel of Time would be the next Game of Thrones and of the same cult following and popularity, their hopes are wavering, as fans of the book series express how unhappy they are with the changes they made for the storyline. They have already renewed for the second season, but will there be a third season? Is this series safe. We currently live in a cancelled culture, and the accumulation of unhappy fans have ultimately hurt the show's ratings, and its future is unknown. Will the third season be cancelled? It is important to remember that this book series is 14 books long. It would be impossible to add every scene as much as they wish it were possible. There would be 30 seasons, and still there would be missed adventures, and someone would be upset, as it's not an easy feat to capture such a long and detailed-oriented story on a TV series. Many have pondered the idea, and they turned the project down for this very reason, and the fear of making people unhappy. What will the future of The Wheel of Time be? 
Do you think there will be a third season? If you said yes, then you guessed right. The third season will start filming directly after season two. Is Amazon recasting one of the most interesting characters? The biggest hurdle for the TV series The Wheel of Time will come in the form of the character Matt Cawthon at the start of season two. Matt has quickly become one of the most exciting and favorable characters, creating another issue for the TV series. Amazon has chosen to recast that beloved character. It is unclear why they want to recast one of their best performing characters. There is no official statement on the reasoning behind this surprising change. Is it possible that Barney Harris doesn't want to be a part of the TV series for a rumored eight seasons? We have many questions that need answers, but we can tell you who replaces him. The Donald Finn from Witcher will take over the role in season two. According to the storyline, that might not be as bad as the beloved characters heading towards darker days, and fans might feel differently about him as the dagger from Shadar Logoth will lead him down a different path for some time. Some people believe that this character change will help the audience accept the new character's way and even help him gain forgiveness later in the story. What do you think about the recast? Do you think it's a foolish move for Amazon when they're already experiencing so much backlash from fans? There you have it, the shocking recasting of a beloved character and, as promised, the details about the show's future. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we can't wait to hear your thoughts. Until next time!